So I have a 2008 Nissan Frontier uh, Pathfinder and Xterra should all pretty much be the same. Uh, it's an SE, it came with power mirrors, but no heat. So I wanted to put heated mirrors in, but the, the problem is the connectors are actually different from Nissan. So what I figured out is I found where the heated circuit goes to on a model that doesn't have heat. Ignore the extra wiring because that's my remote start. So on this connector right here, this green wire, which is just about in the center of the plug, that's your heated circuit. It already has the relay and the fuse is already in the vehicle. So this actually powers up with the rear defrost already. So I cut it and I connected it to another wire because the door harness does not have the wire on this side. So what I did is I fished it up and I fished it through the door harness and brought it out right here. And as for the ground, they actually use from the factory, they share the same ground for your window switch. So your window switch has a big black wire here and I just found it right here, spliced into it. So now I've got my power on ground ready and waiting for me. So as far as fishing it through, it was a little tricky. I ended up unplugging these two connectors because this is your door harness. And you can pull this straight out, all the way out and straighten this thing out so that you can actually try to fish the wire through. Um, and it wasn't so bad. Um, and I'll show you the passenger side, which is a little bit different. On the passenger side, it's in a different connector. You would think that it would be in this same small connector, but it's not. It's on the larger connector and the heater element power is this blue wire, which is all the way on the end. So uh, same thing, I clipped it, I tied in a red wire, and same thing, you unplug these two connectors and pull everything through, and you can straighten out this boot and then fish your wire through. And same thing as far as the ground, it's the big wire that goes to your window switch. So you got your power on your ground. All right, so I got my replacement mirrors in with the heated option. As you can see, this has a three wire connector. The replacements have a much larger connector and it uses five wires. I've already peeled back this insulation here so we can see them. And the two black wires on the end are your actual heater element. So those just need the power and ground that we already uh, created in the door. Um, I've already compared and all you have to do is match up color for color. You have a purple, a blue, and a yellow wire. <clears throat> I do have the factory uh, pinout. This is the three wire power non-heated plug and you can see it's got pins one, two, and three which correlate to circuits 14, 15, and 16. Um, and the same thing on the right side. And then this is the larger plug for the heated mirror. You can see power and ground are pins one and six, and then pins two, three, and eight correlate to pins one, two, and three. So all you have to do is just match those up and you should have heated as well as your power mirror operating properly. So that's what I'm going to do. <clears throat> I'm going to get these wired together and hopefully everything should work just fine. And here's the schematics in case anybody's interested. This is the power heated mirror. And this is the power non-heated mirror. Okay, so again, what I did was I, I cut off the original three pin connector. I used these splicing uh, components. And the only reason I did this is because if I have a warranty problem, because these are, these are brand new, if there's any sort of a warranty issue, I can pull these off, tape it back up, and send it back, and hopefully that will be okay and they won't notice. But otherwise, I would have just cut this and spliced it directly into each wire directly. Um, as you can see, the only two that I have left here are the two black wires for the heater element. Um, and admittedly, once you put it in, it is gonna be a little messy. I can show you what it looks like. So here, we have it installed on the passenger side. Here's the original plug. The original door harness plugs in, jumps over, um, and then the heated 
uh, power and ground goes into the two black wires. Um, so what I'll probably end up doing is, is just kind of taping and zip tying this together so it's nice and neat. Put my connector back in the original connector location um, and just kind of keep these all secured so they don't rattle around, bang around and loosen up. But everything should be good to go after this. All right, so I have them installed. Um, as we can see, we've got left, right, up, down, the other side, left, right, up, down. <clears throat> and I have the rear defrost on. You can on. physically put your hand on it and feel that they're heating up. I checked both sides, they're working properly. It feels nice and warm. That'll be sure to melt off any ice, snow, or fog in the future. So I hope this is helpful for anybody. Um, these mirrors, as far as I know, they pretty much fit everything from 2005 to 2020. Uh, Nissan Frontier, Pathfinder, and even the Xterra for the years that it was built, I believe, which was up to about 2015. So it's a nice upgrade if you don't have heated mirrors, a little legwork, but I hope it helps somebody.